Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Alex Essicata. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Minitab and give you a couple of tricks to put up your sleeve. Should help you be a little bit more productive. So stick around and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so let's start with uh, the assumption that everybody's using Minitab 20. Uh, this should work in any version of Minitab that you have uh, on your desktop. So let's go ahead and start with a quick demo of one of my favorite uh, tools for descriptive statistics, and that is the graphical summary. So I'm going to come up here to stat, basic statistics, graphical summary, and notice I required a little bit of hand-eye coordination to get to graphical summary, not that it's a big deal, but I'm a firm believer in one-click access. So as you can see, I've already had the compliance in there, but let's go ahead and demo that. Uh, in order to get the compliance into this variables section, you can double click on that. Hit OK. And voila. So I'm not gonna cover the output of this particular um, tool right at this moment. The key for this video is to show you how to set up a personal menu. We're going to put a personal toolbar right in this section. So what you're going to do here is you're going to put your cursor right about there somewhere and then click on the right mouse button. And what you'll see is you'll see some of the, the menus that are already on the worksheet. Uh, but you're going to come to this feature here called Customize. And what you'll get is a dialog box that has a number of different tabs to them. Uh, so we're gonna go to toolbars. And you'll notice these are the available menus that Minitab has at the moment. The ones that are checked are actually visible on my desktop. We're gonna click on the button new. And let's go ahead and put in the make. Okay, so once you put in the make, you're going to hit the OK button. And now what you're going to look for, actually, we're going to go ahead and hit close. Off to the side of my desktop, there is a small little box here that has DX to it. And that's kind of what is called now the, the make. This is the personal uh, toolbar that I just set up. There's nothing in there but sometimes this little guy will find its way in peculiar parts of your desktop. But uh, once you find it, you're gonna go back up to the area and click the right mouse button again and hit customize. So now we're gonna prepare, and as you'll see here in this left tab uh, is commands, but before we do that, we're gonna click on toolbars. And as you can see, the Demake uh, menu is now here and you're going to highlight that and then you're going to go over to commands and what we're going to look for is the graphical summary command that is in the stat menu as you recall from earlier and what I do is just click on any one of these commands and just type the letters G R and that will take us pretty close to where we want to be and in actuality we do find graphical summary already highlighted what we're going to do now is we're going to use our left mouse button and click on that and drag it over to this particular open toolbar and as you'll see uh, we were successful in putting that uh, into the domain toolbar I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this guy oops, all the way up here. Okay, so now we have the toolbars there. So we're going to go back to the toolbar. I want to go ahead and add a little bit of text to show that, hey, this is graphical summary because some of these icons can be a little hard to read. So I'm going to go back to toolbars. I want to go back to the make. And as you'll see here, you'll see a little box called Show Text Labels. We're going to click on that. And as you'll see above, you'll see the graphical summary has been populated. Okay, so that's really about it. 
I'm going to close that. And that's a wrap. So if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to subscribe. Drop a comment below. Let us know what you want to hear. Uh, and we'll get that out to you folks. So until next time, stay tuned.